For centuries, humans have searched for a way to live forever. From the fountain of youth to modern gene editing, we have always been obsessed with defeating death. But what if immortality wasn't just a dream? Scientists may have finally found the secret to biological immortality, and the answer comes from one of the most unexpected creatures on Earth, a microscopic organism that refuses to die. This tiny being has survived boiling water, freezing temperatures, deadly radiation, and even the vacuum of space. No matter what scientists do, they can't kill it. Could this indestructible creature hold the key to human immortality? And if so, what would happen if humans could live forever? This microscopic animal is called the tardigrade, also known as the water bear. Unlike any other creature, it can withstand conditions that should be fatal. Scientists have tested its survival limits by boiling it in water at 100 degrees Celsius, freezing it at minus 270 degrees Celsius, exposing it to deadly cosmic radiation, and even keeping it in a freezer for 30 years. Each time, it came back to life. The tardigrade does not die in the ways we expect living organisms to die. It has a unique biological system that allows it to survive in conditions that no other animal can. This ability has fascinated scientists for years, leading them to ask one big question. Could we use its biology to make humans immortal? If we could unlock the secrets of how tardigrades resist extreme environments, we might be able to apply this knowledge to human biology. Imagine a world where humans could survive deadly diseases, withstand the vacuum of space, or even extend their lifespan far beyond what we consider normal today. But is this truly possible? And if so, what are the risks? To understand how this tiny creature holds the key to biological immortality, we need to go back to when it was first discovered. The tardigrade was first discovered in 1773 by German biologist Johann Gozi. Unlike other microscopic creatures that move like worms, this one had tiny legs and used them to walk, earning it the nickname Water Bear. At first, scientists thought it was just another harmless microorganism. But in 1842, French biologist Louis Doyer made a shocking discovery. While studying tardigrades, he accidentally let their water supply dry out. After a few hours, the creatures seemed to disappear completely, as if they had died. But when he added water back, something incredible happened. The tardigrades came back to life. This was the first recorded evidence of a process called cryptobiosis, which means hidden life. When faced with extreme conditions, tardigrades enter a survival state where they shut down all metabolic activity, then reduce their energy consumption to almost zero, and finally curl into a tiny dehydrated ball, appearing completely lifeless. In this state, they can survive for days, months, or even years without food or water. Then, as soon as they come into contact with water again, they instantly rehydrate and return to normal as if nothing ever happened. This ability is unlike anything seen in most living organisms. In normal cells, dehydration causes irreversible damage, breaking down proteins and destroying internal structures. But tardigrades have evolved a unique survival mechanism that protects their cells even in the most extreme conditions. This raises a groundbreaking question. If scientists can understand how tardigrades do this, could we one day apply this knowledge to human cells? Could we prevent aging, survive extreme space travel, or even extend human life indefinitely? 
Scientists are now working to unlock the secrets of the tardigrade's biology, hoping it might be the key to achieving something once thought impossible. Biological Immortality Scientists have started experimenting with tardigrade biology to see if its extraordinary survival abilities can be applied to other organisms, including humans. The results so far have been surprising. In one experiment, researchers extracted the protective proteins found in tardigrades and introduced them into bacteria. The modified bacteria became significantly more resistant to extreme environmental conditions. This proved that tardigrade biology could enhance the survival of other life forms. In a more advanced experiment, a Japanese research team successfully modified human cells by adding tardigrade DNA. The result was astonishing. Human cells became 40% more resistant to cosmic radiation. This suggests that, in theory, humans could one day develop enhanced resistance to space radiation, allowing us to survive longer in space and possibly even on other planets. The idea of transferring tardigrade genes into humans is both exciting and controversial. If we could develop the ability to repair damaged DNA like tardigrades do, we might be able to slow down aging, resist deadly diseases, and even extend our lifespan indefinitely. But this raises an important question. Should we do it? While the idea of biological immortality is tempting, there are many ethical concerns. Would an immortal human population lead to overpopulation and resource shortages? Would only the wealthy have access to these treatments, creating an even greater divide between the rich and the poor? The science of life extension is still in its early stages, but one thing is clear. We are closer than ever to understanding how organisms like tardigrades defy death. Whether we choose to use this knowledge to make humans immortal remains one of the biggest scientific and ethical debates of our time. The tardigrade's ability to survive extreme conditions goes beyond anything seen in other living organisms. Scientists have tested its limits in ways that should be impossible for any life form to endure. One of the greatest threats to any living being is freezing. When most creatures are exposed to extreme cold, the water inside their cells expands, causing the cells to rupture and die. However, tardigrades have a built-in defense mechanism. When exposed to freezing temperatures as low as minus 270 degrees Celsius, they enter a state where their bodies shrink and their metabolism slows to almost zero. This prevents ice crystals from forming inside their cells, allowing them to survive in conditions colder than deep space. But freezing isn't the only danger. Boiling water is known to destroy living cells, breaking down their proteins and causing irreversible damage. Yet, tardigrades can survive temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius. They do this by producing special protective proteins that prevent heat damage and stabilize their cellular structures even under extreme stress. Perhaps the most astonishing test involved exposing tardigrades to cosmic radiation. In space, humans are vulnerable to deadly radiation, which can damage DNA beyond repair. But when scientists sent tardigrades into space without any protection, they not only survived, they repaired their own DNA after returning to Earth. The secret lies in their ability to produce a gel-like protective substance that wraps around their DNA, preventing it from breaking apart. If damage does occur, they activate a biological repair system that restores the damaged DNA before it can cause harm. These discoveries raise a fascinating possibility. If humans could harness the tardigrade's ability to resist extreme temperatures, radiation, and physical stress, we might one day develop superhuman resilience, allowing us to survive extreme space travel, resist deadly diseases, and extend our lifespan far beyond current limits.
The idea of human immortality is no longer just science fiction. Scientists are already experimenting with ways to extend human life, and the tardigrade might hold the key to unlocking biological immortality. But what would that mean for the future of humanity? If we could integrate tardigrade DNA into humans, we could potentially develop extreme resistance to radiation, survive in space for long periods, and even slow down aging. Some researchers believe that genetic engineering could allow us to repair DNA damage the way tardigrades do, making us resistant to cancer and age-related diseases. But the implications go far beyond just living longer. If humans became biologically immortal, the way we think about life would completely change. People might no longer fear death, but would that make life less meaningful? If no one died, would there be enough space and resources for future generations? There is also the question of accessibility. Would immortality be available to everyone or only to the wealthy elite? Could it create a divide between those who can afford to extend their lives and those who cannot? Some scientists argue that instead of focusing on making humans immortal, we should concentrate on improving the quality of life, ensuring that people stay healthy for as long as possible rather than living forever. Others believe that with further research, we may be able to achieve a form of controlled longevity where humans could decide when and how they age.